Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about circuit variables. So the bread and butter, voltage and current. Right, so voltage V, current I. And by definition, voltage is energy per charge. So this is in, in joules, joules, and charge Q. This is coulombs, and voltages. Volts, the volt. Okay, and then current is basically charge per time. Seconds, right? Okay, so remember these forever. But now we have to discuss basically what is the equivalent of a coordinate system. So like here's a snapshot from the book saying here's an, a circuit element. So there are two terminals and basically just whatever goes here is going to be things like a resistor, an inductor, a capacitor, voltage source, current source. But everything we analyze, you're going to label with some voltage and some current. But the thing is, you can label it however you want, basically. Right? So let's say you have some circuit element. Whatever it is, there are two terminals, say one and two. You can choose how you label the voltage, how you label the current. So for example, you say, okay, I want to pick voltage this way. Or let me just draw a few examples. Or you can say, mm, I would rather pick it going the other way, like this. Right? Then you can say, I'm going to make current going this way. But then maybe for this one, I want current going the other way. Or like this. Or like this. Right, so notice that it's the exact same circuit element, but the, the way I labeled, I have like voltage this way, current this way. And then here, same voltage, but current's going the other way. And then here, I have current the same way as this one, but voltage going the other way. Right, so different ways. And it's completely up to you. There's no wrong way to label it. So remember that. There's no wrong way to label it. However you choose to label it, you're correct. You're good. But that brings us to which way is considered positive. So there's this like lots of words and then it looks like what does all this mean? Like when the reference direction for the current is in the same direction as the reference voltage drop, that's positive, otherwise it's negative, like what does that mean? So here's the takeaway. Voltage drop is positive, right here. Positive voltage drop and positive charge flow. So just remember these two, positive voltage drop and positive charge flow. Okay, so in other words, not positive voltage rise, 
So if you have a you have a circuit element like the, back to these pictures, right? So see this voltage drop means right here it's higher up here, lower up here. So this way is considered positive, right? Because that's the direction of the voltage drop, not voltage rise, right? That would be negative. Voltage drop would be considered positive. And then current flow, positive charge flow. So not electrons. We're not looking at electrons flowing. I mean, when electrons move, they leave, right? When an electron kicks off from a molecule, it leaves a hole. So if electrons are, say, moving this way, then the holes are moving the other way. So we're basically following the holes. So the positive charge flow, whichever way positive charge flows, that's current. So if the positive charge flow this way, that's positive. So notice that for this picture, this way is positive, this way is positive. So that's what this whole business means. That means, right, the direction for the current is in the same direction as the voltage drop. So that is considered positive. But then, like say, look at this. Voltage drop is this way, current is this way. So then that's positive. But look at this. Voltage drop is this way, current is going this way. So this is negative. It's like backwards. Same over here, right? Voltage drop, current flow. So this one is backwards. So for these examples, like these are positive, these are negative. Okay, here's an example. Like, take a look at this submarine. Say it's diving. Is that positive or negative? Like, is diving positive or is diving negative? Kind of just depends on how you pick your coordinate system, right? Like, if you say, like, sea level is here, and I pick an origin here, and then let's say, like, Cartesian, like, that's X, and this is Y. Right, then for an airplane flying up in, above sea level, the altitude is positive and it gets larger as it goes higher. But maybe for a submarine, you want to choose this way as positive. So then it's depth below sea level. Right, so if you think about that, it just depends how you pick coordinates. Okay, so... Let's move on to one more circuit variable, power. So power is just energy per time, right? So like for, again, for energy and time in seconds. But let me do this chain rule, energy time and let me use an intermediate variable charge charge right same thing right look chain rule but that's voltage right energy per charge is voltage charge per time is current so power is voltage times current Now let's take a look at this picture and really like spend s some time looking over this until you really get it. So if you take a look, this is basically the same, like four different ways to label voltage and current. So right, notice voltage drop is from one to two, current is flowing from one to two. So this is positive. So look, this is positive, right? It's positive. Let's go all the way back to the last one. Voltage drop this way from two to one. Current is flowing this way, two to one. So this is also positive. But now let's take a look at this. Voltage drop from one to two 
but then the current is going from 2 to 1. So see how that is, that's backwards? So that's why there's a minus sign over here. Right? Over here. And then same over here. Look, voltage drop is from 2 to 1, but the current is going from 1 to 2. That's why there's that negative. Okay, so spend some time going over this whole, like, which way is positive and which way is negative. Okay, so let's do some examples on the next video. I'll see you there.